Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to share with you this new family of model called as a brag. The people behind this model is Ravi Theja and Pratik Bhavasar and it is their personal effort to come up with this family of models. These are retrieval augmented generation models which are collectively known as a brag. In this video, we are going to locally install this Bragg Llama 3.18 billion and then we will see how to do a rag with it. This is not the only model in this family. Ravi and his friend Pratik, they have come up with four models. There is Bragg Unto 7 billion model. Then there is Bragg Llama 3.18 billion model which we are going to install. Then there is Llama 3.8 billion and there is Unto 1.5 billion. And these models, all of them, they have outperformed Cohere's Command R Plus, Unto, Lama 3.1, and Lama 3 Instruct models and have closely matched the performance of GPT-4 Turbo and NVIDIA's Chat QA 1.58 billion on Chat Rag benchmark. Each model was trained in less than 25 US dollar. That is correct. And I will also share the training details as how they did. Um, do it because we have also released a training report which you can access from this model card and I will drop the link to it in videos description now as I said Bragg is a series of small language models trained for RAG retrieval augmented generation in very simple words RAG means that you give more context to the LLM with respect to your prompt which is more grounded and there is a lot of stuff which happens in the rag pipeline where you convert your own data into numerical representation you store it in the vector store and then it is uh, get it gets re-ranked and whenever a prompt is issued similar search is conducted in the vector store and then that prompt is augmented with the similarity results which are presented to the llm so this is what rag is and i have done heaps of videos on our, on rag with various tools if you are interested please search the channel now um, all of these models either they come under apache 2 license like unto 7 billion and unto 1.5 billion whereas llama 3.18 billion and um, llama 3.8 billion come under llama 3 license they also have used few techniques in terms of a rag and in terms of building a rag model and they used two stage fine tuning process which is quite interested the first stage involved general instruction data set while the second focused on rag specific data set they have also shared their second stage training data and they have um, shared a lot of other good stuff in their technical report so i would highly suggest that you read through it another interesting bit is that they didn't go for 70 billion parameter model they just went for 1.5 billion 7 billion and 8 billion the reason is that it offered them a great balance between performance and efficiency whereas the slightly larger models like 7 billion and 8 billion provided more enhanced capabilities for complex tasks requiring long context tabular and math understanding now for um, evaluation benchmark that is another interesting story they used chat rag bench which is a collection of data sets designed to evaluate the model's capability in conversational qa and rag it covers a wide range of documents and question types requiring models to generate responses from context comprehend and reason over tables conduct arithmetic calculations and indicate when questions cannot be answered within the context also we all know that the composition of data sets can significantly impact model performance and that is why they dedicated considerable time to analyze chat rag bench to identify equivalent characteristics in chat queue training data set and they conducted numerous experiments in order to come up with optimal data set combination as i mentioned earlier these um, the chat qa models underwent a two-stage training process in the stage one the models were trained using supervised fine tuning on a large data set in the stage two the training continued with chat qa training data and by employing parameter efficient fine tuning on a significantly smaller sub sample data set from the same source they achieved quite a comparable performance also um, they have shared some real cool stuff around fine tuning processes 
what should be the value of r alpha r and lot of other nuggets around laura and q laura which you can read through the paper also they used um, matrices like f1 score which is calculated based on token matching with the ground truth answer and also they used exact match accuracy or EMA which measures the percentage model represent that perfectly match the ground truth answer. So all in all great stuff. Also for the tooling they used Exolotl which is a tool designed to simplify AI model fine tuning and it includes a lot of other stuff. And for uh, monitoring, logging and observability they utilize the VanDB. And I will drop the link to it in video description so that you can read through more. Now let's go to my terminal in the same system and we will get it installed. So in this system I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. First up let me create a Conda environment where I will keep everything separate. And now let's install some of the prerequisites which include Torch, Transformers and Accelerate. All the prerequisites are done. Now let me install my Conda Jupyter Notebook and then we will play around with the model after downloading it in the Jupyter Notebook which will be launched in the browser. So my notebook is launched and active. Let's import the libraries which we have just installed and I'm specifying this model which is um, Bragg Llama 3.1. Let's download the model and its tokenizer with the help of pipeline and you can see that we will be using it for the text generation so let me run it and it has started downloading the model model is uh, composed of four shards let's wait for it to get downloaded last shard is being downloaded shouldn't take too long now and now it is loading the shards on my gpu and I think this should fit and that is all done it seems. Let me go up. Yes, all done. And now let's try to do the rag inference here. So the example which I have grabbed from their page. What this example primarily does is it first specifies a system prompt which is advising the AI that it is what it's supposed to do that it is supposed to give a detailed answer as per user's question within the context so that is very important and then it must indicate when the answer cannot be found in the context and then there is this random text uh, about some uh, catholic character and then a question is being asked that to whom did the virgin mary allegedly allegedly appear in 1858 in loudest frost so let's try to run it and then let's try to print the response to see how it performs and there you go you see it has remained within the context and it hasn't deviated from it from that so just as in test what i did i have just changed the last sentence the question that to whom did frost beat in soccer world cup and now look at the response that i am not sure but i can tell you that the school has a catholic character and has a basilic basilica of the sacred heart so you see model is not going out of the context and that is great so instead of because llama 3.1 is a generic model but here uh, the response is grounded in the context which is the essence of rag as i mentioned at the start of the video so really good stuff and really uh, heads off to ravi and pratik for coming up this stellar effort as i mentioned earlier i'm going to drop the link in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content Please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.